Hi there YouTube, this is The Magnus bringing you another Total War Warhammer online ladder battle. But this one's different, this is the winner of our contest uh, for the King and the Warlord expansion, or I'm sorry, DLC. And it was submitted by Alex, so let's go ahead and take a look uh, at the replay. Uh, he's playing as the Greenskins against the Dwarfs, brings three orcs, four Orc Boar Boy Biggins, two Goblin Big Bosses, a Orc, and two of the Doom Diver Catapults. His opponent playing as the Dwarves are apparently glowing. Let's give that a second to go away so we can see what we're looking at here. But he's got a front line of long beards right here. So five long beards. On each flank is a unit of slayers. Both have been uh, ranked up twice. Uh, in the center, three quarrelers, one hammer in the reserve, a runesmith. Ungram Ironfist, the Slayer King, and a Runesmith laid out of so. So in, right away you can see that the Greenskin army is much larger, which is often the case uh, in these, these battles. Now, of course, actually, number-wise, the Dwarfs are more, but they occupy so little space, which makes them a lot easier to flank. Uh, so here comes the fire from the Doom Diver Catapults. They're going to make a mess. Uh, one of my... Uh, one of my favorite units. It's just hilarious, the Doom Diver Catapult. If you don't get a giggle out of watching those goblins go flying and screaming, then you, my friend, are not alive. And of course, it's going to do well as the dwarfs have very tight formations. Uh, looks like they're they're you know getting the effects of their leaders and whatnot as they move forward, uh, but definitely taking some pain. And anytime the dwarfs are forced to go on the offensive, well, that's a tricky situation. But these slayers uh, actually have good movement speed. Look at that. That was insane. The, the damage to those hammers was just unbelievable. But he opts to send both of his slayers over to the right flank. Uh, it looks like he's you know concerned about having them go uh, to one side, but I'm not sure what the uh, the movement here is and let's go back to our players perspective or I should say our winners perspective uh, he's gonna send forward his black orcs uh, and this little deflate is gonna give him a nice uh, advantage as far as trains his guys going downhill it looks like the slayers are gonna opt to charge into the orc biggins uh, which are not considered large so I don't think this is a good use of slayers uh, sure, they're going to do some damage because they're very offensive, but considering the, the Greenskins uh, chose to bring primarily uh, or almost entirely infantry, the Slayers are just not going to be a good pick for them. Generally, they would be, but not in this, not against this configuration. So you see the Longbeards and the Black Orcs fighting along the front line, trading pretty evenly, uh, but the the Doom Diver Catapult, one of them is still firing with Reckless Abandon. Now he's focus firing his Quarlers, which is quite good, but so is bringing the Orc Biggins around the flank here, along with a Goblin Big Boss. So it looks like he's going to try to get into these missiles. He's going to effectively do so here. The Quarlers are decent in melee, but going up against Orc Biggins, they're definitely at a disadvantage. On the other flank, we see the Orc Biggins chasing off the Slayers. Uh, they had, you know, a numeric advantage, and again, the Slayer's just not well equipped for fighting infantry, and they're kind of taking a beating over there. Now, two of the Quarrelers are completely inundated. One is still free. Well, they were. <laughs> now they're kind of getting messed with as well. Let's take a look how the Lords are doing. Ungram Iron Fist is up against the Orc War Boss, and looks like Ungram's definitely getting the, uh, the upper hand of this one. Uh, they don't call him the Slayer King for nothing, but the uh, the war boss is going to pull back. Uh, he uses the potion of healing, and the Runesmith chases him alone, while Unger elects to stay in and help work on these black orcs uh, from behind. So it uh, looks like these guys have recovered and hopefully are being sent back to their their Doom Diver catapults to continue to pelt the missiles of the dwarfs. The Quarrelers, there it is. Yep, the Quarrelers getting rained on. Uh, 
very accurate the doom diver fantastic work there uh, on this on our players left flank we see he's got things severely outnumbered uh, the center and the, the the right have kind of blended together the bar is going in his favor Ungram is in trouble and a lot of the dwarfs now have next to no health and are electing to leave the battlefield uh, the strength of the black orcs in the center just too much for them to handle uh, the goblin big boss now going toe to toe with Ungram Iron Fist and surprisingly doing considerable damage and that's enough to break uh, our, our dwarf friends so a, a close victory uh, according to this up here but I would say a pretty astonishing victory uh, for the greenskins the black orcs were fantastic uh, the biggins were mostly passable the doom diver catapults did well uh, and it's it's hilarious to me and sad at the same time the dwarfs are known for artillery and yet every faction nearly can outgun them in that department um, as far as the dwarfs on the tail of the tape the longbeards just were no match for the black orcs and I think uh, Longbeards with great weapons would have fared far better. Uh, the Slayers got some kills and all, but you know, it, if your opponent doesn't bring cavalry, if they don't bring large, uh, these guys end up being a big waste and spend. Uh, I think the only thing that could have been done with them to help him out would have been to go around the lines, use them as a flanking force, and try to hit the enemy in the rear, uh, or even go after the Doom Diver catapults, which were... We're have, doing quite a number on him. Uh, the Hammers did well considering half of them were dead before the fight even started. And Quarrelers are always decent. Uh, so congratulations to Alec for winning the contest. Uh, please get in touch with me. I've already uh, sent you an email. Uh, I need to know your Steam name so I can send you your prize. And uh, I want to congratulate you again on the win. Also, I'd like to announce the winner uh, for the second part of our contest, which was liking, subscribing, and commenting on why you were fired up uh, for the new DLC. That winner is Mirk Wozniak. Uh, I've attempted to contact you. Please get in touch with me, uh, confirming who you are, and uh, providing me with your Steam name so we can get you the king and the warlord dlc as well and get that sent out to you today so you'll be all ready to play tomorrow i hope everybody's excited about the dlc tomorrow i think it's going to be freaking awesome uh the little bit of preview stuff i've seen has been very encouraging uh and it looks like you know we have three new factions sub factions but three factions that weren't playable before that are playable now and that definitely sets an awesome precedent for in the future us getting, you know, Empire Factions and Musalon and all that different stuff. It's going to be cool as hell. Um, as far as our next contest, that will be when we reach, reach 500 subscribers. And when we reach 500 subscribers, what I'd like to do is the biggest and biggest prize pulled Total War Warhammer tournament in the history of the game. I know that's a big claim, it's a big idea, but I like us doing big things and we've pulled off a lot of cool stuff. So thanks for everybody for their participation, thanks for your support, congratulations to Alec and and, and, and Mr. Wozniak. It's uh, I hope you guys really enjoy the DLC, get in touch with me right away, I've got them ready to send to you as soon as you get in touch. So until the next time, this is the Magnus, and I'll see you on the ladder.